Now, besides LEAF and besides your efforts to diversify the organization, what are some of the other initiatives that the Conservancy is involved in now? Well, we're very focused on disaster risk reduction, which may sound funny, but if you think about New York City and what happened in Hurricane Sandy, mm -hmm. you know, it's our belief that nature and natural defenses, so things like wetlands and seagrass beds sure. and dunes and oyster reefs and forests, all play critical roles in protecting us from a changing climate and weather-related disasters. So we're working now with the state of New York and the city to look at the ways those investment opportunities could be made to better conserve nature, but also better mm -hmm. protect us from a changing climate. And you worked directly with the governor uh, to, to do some post-Sandy initiatives. Talk about that a little bit. We did. I mean, we, so uh, the Nature Conservancy served on the governor's 2100 commission, which was asking the question, what do we need to do in New York State to make ourselves more resilient, better prepared for a changing climate. And what we're very proud of and excited to see is that the governor recognized that nature and natural infrastructure and natural defenses are a key part of the solution. Yeah. And you know, we're also encouraged, he's come out and he's now talking about a buyback program. So people who are in risky areas, yeah. how might we use federal disaster relief funds to buy them out and then maybe put in dunes yeah. or wetlands yeah. or parks to make those areas more resilient in a climate changing world. All right, Bill, thanks so much. Great to be here.